September 7, 2014 from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It was the San Francisco 49ers at the Dallas Cowboys. And on the very first play from scrimmage, the Cowboys got a false start penalty, and that would be an omen for this game. Two plays later, DeMarco Murray fumbled, and Culliver recovered and took the ball 35 yards for the touchdown to make it 7-0 Niners. Romo would then lead the Cowboys into field goal range on the following drive as Bailey kicked a 29-yarder to make the score 7-3. On the next drive, Kaepernick proved the doubters wrong as he showed what he can do with his arm, producing big passing plays on the drive, connecting with Anquan Bolden for 37 yards, and then on the next play, hitting Vernon Davis for a 29-yard touchdown pass to make it 14-3 Niners. Romo was starting to feel the pressure, down by 11 points, and after Witten's fumble was reversed, Romo threw an interception two plays later as Reed picked off the Cowboys QB and returned it 48 yards. This gave Kaepernick and the offense the ball on the Dallas two-yard line. Everyone watching expected the Niners to run, but instead Kaepernick continued to show and prove as he hit Vernon Davis for a second touchdown pass in less than two minutes of each other as it was quickly 21-3 as the Niners were running away with this game early on. The Cowboys brought the first quarter to a close marching in San Francisco territory and on the third play of the second quarter Romo threw an interception this time to Patrick Willis who made a spectacular play intercepting Romo in the end zone when the Cowboys were looking to score. So that was Romo's second interception of the game. The Niners would punt on their next drive after crossing midfield. The excellent special teams play had the Cowboys backed up on their own one-yard line. Then after picking up a first down to bring the ball out to the 12-yard line, Tony Romo threw his third interception of the game. This time it was Cox who picked him off on the deep pass intended for Des Bryant. This gave the Niners the ball on their own 36, and Colin Kaepernick would march the Niners downfield in just three minutes as Hyde took the rock in for the touchdown on a four-yard run to cap off the drive and make the score 28-3 as this game went to halftime moments later. The third quarter saw both teams trading punts until the halfway mark of the quarter where Tony Romo put together a drive that finally saw Dallas reach the end zone as DeMarco Murray scored on a two-yard touchdown run about a half a minute before the end of the third to make it 28-10. to 10. The next two drives resulted in punts respectively, and then the Niners marched into field goal range, but Phil Dawson missed the 37-yarder wide left. This gave the Cowboys a glimmer of hope, and that's all Tony Romo needs in the fourth quarter of a September game to get him going. Romo would connect with Williams on a two-yard touchdown pass to make it 28-17, but with less than two minutes left to play, it was too little too late. The onside attempt was recovered by San Francisco, and the game would come to a close moments later with Colin Kaepernick in the victory formation and the final score 28-17. to And in this game, Colin Kaepernick was 16-23 for with 201 yards passing and two passing touchdowns. He also had 11 yards rushing off of five carries. Tony Romo was 23-37 for with 281 yards, one touchdown and three interceptions. DeMarco Murray was the game's leading rusher. He had 118 yards off of 22 carries. Anquan Bolden was the game's leading receiver with 99 yards off of 8 receptions, just 1 yard shy of the century mark. Vernon Davis had 44 yards off of 4 catches, 2 of which were for touchdowns. So San Francisco, despite having a beat up defense, shows that they are a team defense as they shut down Dallas, shut down Tony Romo, which is not necessarily the easiest thing to do in September, but they made it look easy as they win this game 28-17 in Dallas.